So now you know why I didn't dress up too fancy today. Here we are, we've got probably 15 odd minutes uh, for the sun to set. It's barren, there's nothing here. Uh, there's no forgiveness. We've got full sunlight, we've got beautiful sunset. Now we're gonna use long shadows. We're gonna be using maybe different body language so we can actually amplify that movement where we don't get that expression on the face. We're going to see if we can get the head and shoulders above the environment because otherwise you don't get a silhouette. For example, the mountains that are cutting off their heads or the necks or anything like that, that can be quite challenging and quite distracting. I'm gonna do a shot now that anyone can do anywhere. Um, all you need is an open pocket of light. Now, it's obviously, the sun's already set it's behind the mountains. I'm gonna put my white balance on shade, we'll lower my camera angle, and I am going to get them facing each other so I get this beautiful silhouette. And uh, it's gonna be really cool. And right now, I wanna silhouette them against the sky, so I am gonna put my white balance on shade to basically make it even look more orangey. And what we'll do, because your hair is sort of more open now, we'll keep you facing each other in that direction. So face each other perfectly. Good, so no smile, really soft, gorgeous, hold it there. The way I create or allude to chemistry, um, let's say for example, I didn't have a folio with lots of couples and I wanted to emulate that they are a couple. Well, I can't get them kissing, it's not appropriate. But what I will do, I could get their, their foreheads touching like I'm doing now and you emulate that look and feel and it works out really well. Okay, so I'm gonna do a multiple exposure with one single photo made up of two shots. And now all I gotta do is just think of a creative way to include her in a bit of a different way. So in this case, I'm gonna flick the camera 180 degrees and then get a really, really cool shot of her slightly different. Hang in there, darling. So you could do this simply by placing your subjects in open shade or in, in the interior of a home or anything like that. You just have to isolate a bright spot that's way brighter than your subject matter because they are in silhouette. I'm gonna get you to turn your hips that way. Good, and then hold her hand with both of your hands. And then bring it up nice and high. So what we've got here is that I needed a bit more light and I find a lot of people when we're doing a shot like this, they will shoot with flash uh, and have your assistant in there because you're literally so close to the subject because you need to overpower that light um, and then just remove afterwards in Photoshop. In this particular case, I did what I could in my camera because I was actually shooting at 640 speed, 100 ISO at 2.8 to retain that background. Um, and then I kept them off the frame with a negative space. That little sliver of light and that light and shade look really nice. Obviously I was contending with the wind um, and the hair on the face and everything like that. We blinked a few times, but I feel like we've got a really good decent shot here. Um, and it was quite challenging, again, to get it right in camera. So I think this is probably the most innovative softbox or accessory to come out in the photography world for quite some time. So this is the Click system, the Click softbox from Profoto. And I love the fact that it condenses into something really small. And all you've got to do is you click it up and you've got a softbox. The cool thing is that you can press with one hand and move this up and down if it's on a light stand, or if an assistant's holding it, they can just hold it nice and steady. It's nice and solid, it feels really good, and you simply just grab the flash with the magnetic option, and that's it, you're done. How easy is that? And then you can actually bring this hand right here. That's it, and then that hand right here, and then bend that knee. So I am gonna get the light right without the flash first, because I've got a little bit of highlight coming over here right on her chin. <coughs> so I'm gonna expose to that first. What I wanna use that light for is I wanna give a tickle of light on her face and a little bit of light tickling on their, on their legs to create a bit of a shadow. Not so much so that it's overpowering, but enough to give me some separation. Their faces are in silhouette and it's looking really, really nice, but then their bodies are disappearing into the background. So I feel like I need something. Hang in there, guys. And now lean your upper body forward a little bit and then chin down. Good. Lean forward towards me a little bit to correct my perspective. Good, hold it there. Eyes where my hand is, just there. 
Perfect, good. A little hint of a squint. So beautiful warm tones contrasted with his great skin tone there with that beautiful warm color because again, I turned my white balance to shade, giving us a nice little balance. And you would swear that was sort of done in a studio. So the idea is that we look at this and it becomes a lot more difficult than you think because you have to use the environment. Everything's going dark. How do you use the ambience? Well, you sort of problem solve. Isolate the beauty. I've lowered my camera angle. I've cropped um, the ground out. Otherwise, it's gonna be a problem. I could photograph him right now with ambient. I've got an 85 millimeter F1.2 lens. That'd be great, but everything will blow out. We're gonna take one more final shot of Ambly to show you what it looks like in a dark environment with no flash at all, to bring it back to basics. So what I want you to do, quite like that, but I want you to do this for me with your hands. Perfect, good. And now do this for me. Perfect, good. Chin up a little bit and then bring your feet a bit closer in together. That's it. Beautiful, hold it there. So we've had a great day in Las Vegas. I hope you really enjoyed that. We've actually started shooting in downtown Las Vegas. We're photographing in full sun and using that beautiful little tree there, isolating that beauty, using that derelict building and then shooting in bright full sun. And it's, it's fun to be able to use our environment and not rely on any gear other than just a lens and a camera and what's around us. Then we graduated to photographing at that ranch and we use the reflector. We use the, the white side, the silver side, the gold side, the black side, a diffuser. And then we came here to the dry lake bed and if you actually have been here before, it's really fun but can be quite intimidating. We had late afternoon sun or early evening sun and we use long dramatic shadows. We use a little bit of flash, some uh, strobes. We use a couple of speed lights and then we ended off isolating that particular sky with a couple of shots of Amberley as well. Amberley and Fernando were amazing. It was great to join the ride with you here. And if you appreciated these last several videos here in the second season of Jerry Guionis, myself here with B&H, uh, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Uh, we'd love to hear your comments about what you thought of this, and hopefully we can give you exactly what you want. So if you have an idea of what you'd like to me to do for the next time I'm around here with B&H, uh, please let us know in the comments, and we'll see you next time.